All right, all right, Dave Call here, and we're going to make a dice, put some texture maps on it, and roll it using dynamic simulation. Okay, let's get started. Go to polygons, or create poly primitives, make a cube. Scale that up a little bit. And then I want to go to edit mesh, bevel. Now this bevel, I'm going to turn the offset down to here and then I'll take this and go to mesh smooth so what we have is a rounded dice which looks about right now I'd like to go up to hypershade render perspective and I'm gonna use two fongs first one will be pure white and the second one will have a texture on it that texture I'm gonna grab a file go into here and I'll grab a dice so it'll have this texture. I'll make a third fong so you can see how I can texture multiple planes. Go to File, open up this dice two. So we have these two here. So now I want to, I'll just go to the top view and hit F11. I want to grab a bunch of these faces. Now by default it'll grab the one below it too, but let's just go ahead and assign material to selection. Now nothing shows up so we have to go to create UVs planar mapping. Now this planar mapping you see it's not the right direction so what I also want to do is make this the same width and height and then rotate this 90 degrees. Then when I hit 6 we'll see that we have the dice on there. So if I render this well, let me pull, let me forget about that, pull the mace first falling on there and let me grab this again, these faces and I'll assign this one that goes back on there so we have a dice now let me try another side say I want to get this faces put on here and I want to first go to create UVs planar mapping and then assign this one to the selection. So if I look at this, I now have a dice with two different faces on it and with these I can go to graph network and make them 3D by pulling this into the bump map and pulling that down to around negative two. Do the same thing with this here and we could take a look at all this. So not too much different but if the light hits it right we'll see some bump map on it. Okay, that's the dice. So now I want to create a rigid body out of this. So I'll take these, scale it down. First thing I want to do is create a floor. So I'll make poly primitives plane. I'll scale this up, make it nice and wide. This will be our floor. Now the dice, I want to pull this up here. And I might throw two of them so I can rotate this slightly and then control D to duplicate maybe pull this one over here so we have this now I want to take this floor and we have a thing called active and passive rigid bodies the floor will be passive rigid body the dice since they will be moving our active rigid bodies I could go here or I could just go to fields create a gravity on there so let me increase the frame count to 200 and let me hit play and you can see these dice bounce off pretty well now let's just say we're using a hand a virtual hand would want to get some initial velocity on there so I'm going to do control A and where it says initial velocity under the rigid body shape I'm going to type in 10 for the Z on both of these so if I play them they will now fall right off the table. So what I want to do is slow these down a little bit and to do that I'm going to increase the friction. So take these two, by the way when you see dot 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 means you're selecting multiple items. The static and dynamic friction I'll raise them from 0.2 to 0.6 and I will play this and that will stay on there. We could also reduce some of the bounciness. See, those are bouncing kind of crazy. So let me 
reduce the bounciness to 0 0.2. Rewind. You have to rewind every time you're doing dynamics. So let's play this again. That looks better. But let's go to Window Play Blast. And we'll see how it goes in actual speed. We can stop the Play Blast there. Okay, so you see this is a little bit slow. That's the actual speed of the play blast. So what we need is to increase increase the gravity field magnitude. I'm going to make that 50 instead. Now if I rewind and I do a play blast again, we'll render that. Okay, so this looks more realistic. You see that it's going more real speed. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to bake out the simulation because right now we have a dynamic simulation and we want to create keyframes out of this. So to do that, I'm not sure why this is not selecting. Let me try this again. Let me do it in here. All right, PQ one and two. I want to take that and I want to go modify Oops, sorry, edit keys, bake simulation. So what that does, it keyframes the entire thing with keyframes. So now what I can do is select the plane and all this and go to edit, delete, all by type rigid bodies, which is down here. So now I no longer I can take gravity, no longer any rigid body, so this is pure keyframed animation. And there we go. So the last step is to render this out, and I want to make sure we go over motion blur, because that's important for some dice like this. So I got that. Let me go into Hypershade Render Perspective, go to the Render Globals. And if you're using Maya software, you can click on Motion Blur click that on. Use 2D because that's for transformations not deformations. Turn up the blur by length and get some speed here and then we'll render this out and you can see that this is the kind of thing we're looking for. There's a lot of motion blur on there. So if I zoom in a little closer, let's see it. That is a lot of blur. If you're using Mental Ray, oh, by the way, if Mental Ray doesn't show up, you can go to Window, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and look for an alphabetical order, which is Maya to MR. Let that load up here. Go to Mental Ray. All right, now let's go to the Globals. And under Features, we will go, this thing is taking its sweet time, and we'll go to Motion Blur, turn that on. No deformation is for transformations, then full would be for uh, uh, deformation. So no deformation will work. That puts on Motion Blur, and we are good to go. You now have dynamic dice. We have put texture maps on them. We have baked the simulation. We have adjusted some of the simulation attributes to get an effective dice rolling. Have a supreme day. I'll talk to you later.